Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, your grace and your hearts, that as we have known the message comes by the message of an angel, so may by his patience on the cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let's now begin this Holy Eucharist in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear friends, today the Holy Mother Church celebrates the queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary. As we come to celebrate this queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary, let's continue to ask her intercession in our lives that we imitate some of her qualities in our life as she is truly honored because of the way she committed herself for the will of God. So in our lives as well, let's continue to ask the Lord for his grace. Lord, please help us to discern what is your will in our lives. And once we have discerned, help us to follow your directives in our lives as Mary did. So as we come to celebrate this Eucharist, let's also acknowledge our human failures and ask God for his forgiveness and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let's now joyfully proclaim glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you will honor the Holy One, you will honor the Lord, you will honor the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. I offer this Mass as a thanksgiving to Our Lady of Grace and also for Rosa Rafala, who is deceased. O God, who made the mother of your son to be our mother and our queen, graciously granted, sustained by her intercession, we may attain in the heavenly kingdom the glory promised to your children. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness has seen a great light. On those who live in a land of deep shadow, a light has shone. You have made their gladness greater. You have made their joy increase. They rejoice in your presence as men rejoice at harvest time, as men are happy when they are dividing the spoils. For the yoke that was weighing on him, the bar across his shoulders, the rod of his oppressor, these you break as on the day of Midian. For all the footgear of battle, every cloak rolled in blood is burnt and consumed by fire. For there is a child born for us, a son given to us, and dominion is laid on his shoulders. And this is the name they give him, 
Wonder Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Wide is his dominion in a peace that has no end. For the throne of David and for his royal power, which he establishes and makes secure in justice and integrity. From this time onwards and forever, the jealous love of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the dung heap he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favored, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people called barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. Dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today, the Holy Mother Church celebrates the queenship of our Blessed Mother. This feast is a logical follow-up to the Assumption and is now celebrated on the octave of the feast. That was last week we celebrated the feast of the Assumption. Pope Pius XII, in the year 1954, instituted this feast. This feast has got a deep scriptural background. Today in the Gospel, we see how at the Annunciation, the angel Gabriel comes and tells what, Ma what Mary is going to be, the great role that she is going to play in our redemption. And also the angel assured Mary that, you know, she, you know she, Jesus would receive the throne of David and rule forever. And in later part of the Gospel today, as the angel Gabriel assures that, your kinswoman Elizabeth also in her, you know, in her sixth month. 
And when, when Mary makes a journey to meet her cousin Elizabeth, and when Elizabeth saw Mary, what she was telling, she said, why should my mother of the Lord should come to me? So, as all in the mysteries of Mary's life, Mary is closely associated with Jesus. Her queenship is a share in Jesus' kingship. We know from the reading of our Old Testament that the mother of the king had a greater influence in the king's court. A fourth century uh, uh, saint by name Saint Ephraim, you know, called Our Lady as Queen of Queen and uh, as Lady and Queen. Later, the church fathers and, and the doctors of the church used this title quite often. Actually, the hymns from 11th to the 13th centuries addressed Mary as Queen. Hail, Holy Queen, you know, we say the prayer, and also Hail, Queen of, you know, Hail, Queen of Heaven, and, you know, these are the, some of the titles that were used. In the, in the encyclical that Pope Pius XII, you know, drafted in 1954, you know, he points out that Mary deserves the title because she is the mother of God and because she is closely associated as the new Eve with Jesus' redemptive work because of her preeminent perfection and because of her intercessory power. St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, tells us Mary was predestined to be the mother of Jesus. As Jesus was to be king of all creation, Mary, in dependence on Jesus, was to be queen. As Jesus exercised his kingship on earth by serving his father and his fellow human beings, so did Mary exercise her queenship. As the glorified Jesus remained with us as our king till the end of time, so does Mary, who was assumed into heaven and crowned as queen of heaven and earth. Dear friends, today, just to, I just want to finish my reflection with a direct quote um, from in the dogmatic, dogmatic constitution on the church, number 69. It is one of the documents in the Second Vatican Council which talks about Mary. It goes like this. Let the entire body of the faithful pour forth persevering prayer to the mother of God and mother of men. Let them implore that she who aided the beginning of the church by her prayers may now, exalted as she is in heaven above all the saints and angels, intercede with her sons in the fellowship of all the saints. So dear friends, we, we give due honor to our Blessed Mother because of the role she, that she played in our redemption. Because if, just imagine, when Mary failed to say no, what would have happened to us? So she was so perfect and so willing to cooperate with the plan of God. So let's, as we celebrate this queenship of, of our Blessed Mother, Let's continue to implore. Let's continue to ask the Lord, Lord, what is the plan that you have for me? Help us to discern. And once we discern, help us, help us to cooperate with you so that we also glorify you in our lives as our blessed mother did. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we observe this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, praying to be given strength by the humanity of Christ, who offered himself to you on the cross as the unblemished oblation who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify you in veneration of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Timothy our Archbishop, Don his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Rosa, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the risen Lord be with you all. Let's now offer each other God's peace. Peace to you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. Having received this heavenly sacrament, we humbly pray, O Lord, that we who reverently celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary may merit to be partakers at your eternal banquet. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, go forth. The Mass is ended. Thank you and wish you all a good day. Thank you.